go of doubt, let go of fear, because my God is not a God of doubt and fear. Amen. We're here to celebrate. We have a special occasion here. It's four years of ministry in this place. Four years of winning souls. Four years of bringing people and putting them in the waters of baptism. Watching their sins be washed away. Over 200 people baptized in Jesus' name. Over 200 people full of the Holy Ghost. God's good, church. Jesus' name. the words. I'm telling you, I feel the, I feel the goosebumps just seeing the words.
God, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Here we go, I feel it. I feel the 
the Lord falling. Fresh on me. I feel the joy of the Lord. Fresh and never in me. I feel the joy of the Holy Ghost. All over me. Again, I feel it. Oh, I feel the joy of the Lord falling. Fresh on me. I feel the joy of the Lord. this church. I ain't lying. I love this church. <laughs> I wouldn't rather be anywhere else but this place right here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You can have your church of 3,000. I'll take my 150 right here all day long. This is where I need to be. This is where I want to be. I'm glad that you want to be here too. Can I get an amen? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. You can be seated if you'd like. Praise the Lord. You know, it's so funny, you know, Church is very much like exercise. You can't just come in and start church and just have somebody just start preaching the word. You got, you got to warm up. You know, if you don't warm up before you exercise, you pull something. Something don't go right. Things don't happen the way they should. It's the same thing with church. I want a man to come into an anointed pulpit. Yes. Where the Holy Ghost is saturating the whole place. Yes. So when the man begins to speak, the Lord can just touch him all day long. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for being a church that provides that kind of atmosphere. I appreciate you very much. I want to just say thank you to all those people who came uh, and did all that work this weekend. We have had a celebration since um, starting Saturday afternoon. But the celebration didn't really start then. We started preparing long before that. We were here Wednesday setting up the chairs. Thursday we were here doing work. Friday cleaning up stuff and the trash and getting everything outside. Taking pews, getting them outside. Uh, we have been working for days to get this ready for this weekend. I'm so grateful for all of you that helped. Anybody who did anything, give yourselves a hand clap of praise. We're so grateful. It can't be done with one person. It just cannot. Stand up. 
Anybody ready. who helped, stand up. Anybody who did anything for the prepare for this weekend, stand up. Including the ladies' fellowship. Uh, if you brought any food, did anything, stand up. Stand up, stand up. All those people who helped out. People who helped with the chairs. Where them boys at? <laughs> Praise God. Praise, there they are. There. Pray, thank you all so much for helping out. Praise God. Amen. We Amen. couldn't have done it without you. I'm not, I mean, not even kidding. I want to do a special thank you for Sister Amanda. She was here almost all day on a Thursday or Friday. 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 Uh, she moved all the chairs and she brought a steam cleaner. And you know, we got a lot of stains in this rug because we got lots of kids and, and lots of you know muddy messes and stuff from out in the street. And she came and she did she uh, what do you call it? steam cleaned the whole carpet. Mm -hmm. Do you notice it looked a little different when you came in? It was beautiful. Amen. I was like, I think this carpet gonna last us a little longer. It's as much dirt as she got up. Thank you so much. And then she said, help and cleaned. And anybody who cleaned and, and took care of that preparation, we want to thank you. Oh, Lord, I'm bleeding. <laughs> I'm, I cut my head shaving today, boy. Oosh. It was one of them big ones where you just, ah. I'm like, baby, she wouldn't even help me. I'm bleeding to death in the shower. <laughs> that one hurts. She's like, oh, get over it. <laughs> For, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We've got some announcements here. Uh, I'm not going to take long. We've got a lot to do today. Praise God. Um, we got some new chairs. If you haven't noticed, they look so nice. I got a couple things we're going to change, though. We're going to we're, we're going to take out two of those pews in the back. You, I'm gonna get to that change in a minute. <laughs> I know where he's going. We got two pews in the back. We're gonna get them out, and we're gonna take this. We're actually one pew, or two pews, which is on each side. We're going to take this row out, put it back there. This altar is not big enough for me. I'm sorry, this, this is just not big enough. We need more altar space for people to be able to come down and get connected with the power of God. We had, it's still, I mean, we had space. We had somebody get the Holy Ghost last night. Can I get amen? amen. Someone got the Holy Ghost baptized. Uh, they're going to get baptized in Jesus' name, but they're, they got full of God. I mean, we, we've got an altar, but it's not big enough. It's not big enough. So we're going to take one row out, put that back. Now, if we ever need to, the next 50 chairs we get are going to be stackable chairs. They won't have the, the rack, racks underneath so that we can just have the ushers take the, the row out. We'll, we'll keep the row until altar call. And every altar call, we'll just have them pick up the chairs, move them out so that we can have uh, a bigger altar call. But for the next service, those, this row will be gone. It'll be back there because uh, I tried it out. I wanted to see what our capacity was and everything. But... Uh, one of the most important things that can happen in church is the people who get repented, get baptized, and get the Holy Ghost. That's the whole purpose. Yeah. It's not about me standing, looking good up here, or, or the evangelist trying to be sharp or smart or funny. It's really, that's all the extras. The most important thing that can happen yeah. is a life get changed. Yeah. And someone get a relationship with Jesus Christ that brings them into salvation. That is the most important thing in this hour. Amen. That's what we're looking for. Praise God. Yeah. So, uh, we had a rule yesterday, almost got broken. I almost had to get physical around here. <laughs> During the preaching, Brother, brother, brother Flannery getting ready to, uh, ooh. <laughs> ready to get put, jump on that pew. Now, we just made a rule. No, I'm sorry, chairs. No standing on the chairs, no shoes on the chairs. Boy, he almost, I almost had to come and tackle him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine you standing up there? <laughs> but, uh, you know, Brother, if the Holy Ghost hits you, as long as you clean it off, I think we can make an exception for an evangelist. Brother Harris wanted to tell me right away, Brother Flanders would be the first one to break that rule. <laughs> Praise God. And I know I've gotten, I mean, when I had that woman shouting my face obscenities and I'm trying to preach, I had to get up on a, you know what I mean? I had to get up. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, let's just make sure that we take care of these chairs. Let's keep our, sh our feet, our shoes off of them. Don't keep sharp objects in your pocket. Please don't put anything in the sleeves in the back. Just put everything underneath if you need to. Uh, I'd like to see these last a while. Can I get amen? amen. Praise God. Let's take care of this church. Uh, I believe we're going to have this church for a long time. It's looking better and better every year, and we've got some more plans to do even more. We've got a little bit of money. We want to buy a new door for the front or the back, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> How many people are tired of looking at that door? Thing on the bottom, metal <laughs> hanging off, and good Lord, we're trying, church, we're trying. But we, we are going to get that door removed. We're going to get a nice door. We're going to get some curtains for them ghetto windows. <laughs> Sister Anita is tired of looking at them windows. Look like a jail. Look at a detention center for kids or something up in here. Uh, but you know what? 
Everything that comes in, you can see that we are putting towards the church. We're going to make this place the best it can be because we want people to come in and want to stay. Can I get amen? Yes, amen. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, we're going to pray on Tuesday. Sister White will be here. Camp meeting's coming up. Ask me questions later. Uh, we're going to have this on the screen during the services, so uh, keep them in your prayers. Uh, you can watch them and, and see what's going on in the church before services on the slideshow. Um, we are going to take up... We're not going to do an offering yet. We're going to have a baby dedication. Where's the baby? Yeah. We're not going to do that now? Why not? After offering? Okay. I got vetoed again. No one can ever say this church is a dictatorship. No one can ever say that I am... Uh, <laughs> I get vetoed all the time. Praise the Lord. We're going to take up an offering if you would stand. <laughs> Sister White, if you would come. We are going to have a baby dedication, but right not this moment. We've got some other things going on too. Uh, how many people are getting baptized in your family, Sister Priscilla? Three boys are getting baptized in Jesus' name. And that thing right back there, right after church. We're going to have free food and fellowship. We're going to have some video worship. we got all kinds. Sister Harris is going to bless us with song again. And Brother uh, Harris, my pastor, will be preaching. So we got all kinds of fun stuff for today. Praise God. But right now we're going to take up an offering. This offering is going to go to the evangelists. So please give on to the Lord. Uh, I would like to bless these men that have blessed us. Uh, I think it's good for us to give. Uh, if you're going to pay your tithes and offerings, make sure you put that in a separate envelope. Because this whole offering is going to the evangelists. They have been here to bless us and guide us and I want to show these men some love. Anybody appreciate Brother Harris and Brother Flannery and their family, Sister Harris? Oh, just a great weekend that we've had. Praise God. So if you extend your hand to the offering, we're going to pray. Jesus, we ask you right now to let this offering come in. Let it be a sacrificial giving from the church. Let it be one that blesses these men of God. Let them get home safe. Let them be guided uh, with more revival in their own lives. We ask you to bless them in every area of their lives. We ask that this offering be an additional blessing financially. And we ask those that give be blessed. And those that are not able to give yet, God, give them the ability through blessings in their life to give unto you. In Jesus' name, and the church said amen. amen. Clap unto the Lord praise God. We have an offering march. If you walk towards the wall and come to the front, praise the Lord, we will be able to give our offering. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful, wonderful name, name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. There's no
Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to have a baby dedication. I wonder if we could bring up that beautiful baby. become a team in this and it's an honor to be with him I appreciate so much this church allowing us to be here brother John Michael who's accepted me as his pastor and that to me is an honor and I and I tell I don't take that lightly I thank you for that there is nothing greater in a home than for a child to be added to that home there is scripture in the Bible and I want to read quickly to you I'm reading predominantly one verse, but I want to just read just, just a few verses around it. It says, The elder, this is in the third epistle of John, the elder and to the well beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health as thy soul prospereth. To see a family grow, there's more than just a child coming in and then a child living. There has to be health in the life of the parents. There has to be a dedication in the life of the parents. There has to be love and there has to be devotion. I could get into, and I will not today, but I could get into the number of homes where children are being adopted out, the number of homes where children are being aborted, through abortion, where children are being left unattended, abused. But I thank God that there are men and women who dedicate themselves to God and in so doing will do that to their children and bring them up in the truth. What a blessing that is. Amen. And so he said, I rejoice greatly when the brethren came. He said, I want you in all things that I may prosper. Church, your pastor needs to prosper. Physically, spiritually, financially, your pastor needs to prosper. When he is prospering, the church will prosper. If you want to see prospering in your home, let your pastor and his family prosper. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified the truth that is in thee, even if thou walkest in the truth. You guys have got the truth. Amen. And you're walking in the truth. And you're sharing the truth. Not only with the church, but in your children and bringing them up and understanding. Verse 4 is one of my wife's favorite passages. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. I'm going to tell you something. It's, it's fun to have a church family, but it's awesome to have your immediate family, your blood family, walking in truth with you. Brother Flannery's blessed with that. I've got a daughter that's not in church, but I've got a son, his family that's in church. There's no greater joy than to hear that our children walk in truth. Beloved, that thou faithfully, that thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to strangers. It overwhelms me that these guys have enough heart and love not only to reach out to this little guy, to reach out to the other three children, but to, and to each other, but to reach out to each and every one of you. And most importantly of all, they've got a heart that's committed and devoted to loving and to serving God. Can you say amen? amen. 
That love goes not only to their brethren, but likewise to strangers. I haven't always known these guys, but boy, they accepted us, have loved us, and they've allowed us to love them, and we love it. Brother Flannery loves it. Which have borne witness of thy charity and thy love before the church. You're a witness to their love. Not only to the, each other. Not only to God. Not only to their immediate family. But to each one of you. Which have borne witness of the charity of before the church. Whom if thou bring forward of the journey after a godly sort. They do well. How many of you can say with me? They do well. Amen. Amen. Because that for his name's sake they went forth. Amen. Taking nothing of the Gentiles. They're not asking much of us except that what God would ask of us. We therefore ought to receive such that they might be fellow helpers of the truth. God received them as parents and as pastors and church received them and loved them. I'd like for Brother Flannery, if you would, would you take this baby in your arms? It's not that I can't hold a baby. I've become quite efficient with three grandchildren and two children of my own. But he's already been blessed being thrown up on. I haven't yet. I'm fixing to preach. I'd just as soon not. That is so wrong. <laughs> this little fella can, can spew. What an honor it is to get to stand here today with Brother John Michael Stewart, Sister Amy. Stuart. <laughs> hey, give me my name. And with this baby, Jacob Michael Stewart. Born January the 28th of this year here in Gallup. This mom and dad, and then they've got a brother, Ezekiel Michael Stewart. Got two sisters, Juliana Elizabeth and Michael, Mariah Rose Ronkel. What a blessing it is to the addition of